Hello friends, this video on biomolecules part 2 is brought to you by examfeared.com. No more fear from exam. Now, before we get into each of these types of biomolecules, let us get clarified with the concept of metabolism. So whenever we talk about a living organism, whenever we talk about the sustenance of a living organism, we often talk about the various uh, chemical reactions or various processes taking place inside that organism. And that is nothing but metabolism. So let us see what is metabolism and how does it happen inside a living organism. So let us see what is metabolism. The set of chemical reactions occurring in a living organism. So just now I gave you an example of the process of digestion, for example, in case of a human being. Now when the process of digestion takes place, there are a lot of chemical reactions which are involved in the course of this process. How? That is because let us suppose we eat some food in the form of say rice or bread. So that is the food which we eat. But by the time the food actually reaches the stomach or the intestine, the food is broken down into smaller and further smaller particles. So how is that? process of breaking down taking place again when that reaches the intestine what happens there are a lot of enzymes which act on that food and then converts it into simpler and or the more simplest possible form and at last it is broken down in the form of glucose which is a simple sugar and that is how it is stored but it, it doesn't mean that we have consumed simple sugar we have to consume some complex food. So when this process of conversion takes place, so basically there are a lot of chemical reactions happening by the action of these enzymes. So these enzymes, there, there is a lot of making of bonds. There is a lot of breaking of bonds of biomolecules involved. So many proteins get broken down into amino acids. Many amino acids join together to form amines. Many disaccharides get broken down into monosaccharides. So many such reactions take place and all these reactions together is known as metabolism. And these due to because these biomolecules take part in metabolism. So metabolism is something which is essential for the survival of a living organism. Since bio, biomolecules take part in the process of metabolism. So biomolecules are also known as metabolites. So that is another name for biomolecules. Now all biomolecules have a turnover. When I say turnover, what does it mean? It doesn't mean the business turnover, of course. It means in the process of this metabolism or in the course of these chemical reactions taking place, biomolecules get converted from one form to another. As I just mentioned, many a times the disaccharides will uh, get hydrolyzed to form monosaccharides that is the simplest sugar again sometimes during digestion the process of hydrolysis will take place sometimes amino acids will combine together to form amines so they are all biomolecules but one form is getting converted to some other form so that is why we say that all biomolecules have a turnover they get turned over into some other biomolecule and this keeps happening now, it is not always necessary that all these chemical reactions which take place inside a living organism is a single step reaction. Many reactions are multi-step reaction. That is, they occur in multiple steps also. So, all these metabolic reactions which we are talking about, they take place inside our body. When I say inside our body, in fact, they take place inside, the, inside each and every cell present in our body. So this we have discussed before also. So now we will talk about the multi-step reactions which take place during the process of metabolism. So these multi-step reactions are often known as metabolic pathways. So what are metabolic pathways? For example, let us consider the example of cellular respiration, aerobic respiration which take place where glucose is oxidized to produce carbon dioxide, water and energy in the form of ATP molecules. Now, is it a single step process? 
this is not a lot of steps are involved there are a lot of intermediate molecules which are formed so it is a multi step process and this entire process is known as metabolic pathways so by met in this metabolic pathway it can form simple structures from complex structures it can also form complex structures from simple structures i mean in some of the steps now i will not get into the steps of the cellular respiration process because it is quite complex and we will however talk about cellular respiration reactions in detail in one of the later chapters so here you just know that there are many steps involved in some of the steps complex substances get broken down into simpler one whereas in some of the steps the simpler compounds group together to form a complex compound so that on the basis of what is happening there are two types of metabolic pathways anabolic and catabolic pathways so now as i mentioned metabolites are converted into each other in a series of linked reactions called metabolic pathways so metabolites are nothing but your biomolecules now these metabolic pathways again are of two types anabolic pathway and catabolic pathway so what are anabolic cut pathway this is the process of complex structures being formed from simpler ones that means smaller substances together form a larger substance so that is anabolic pathway catabolic is just the opposite that is a bigger structure gets broken down into smaller ones so that is catabolic or sometimes it is also known as catabolism so one of the very good examples of anabolic pathway would be the conversion of acetic acid into cholesterol so acetic acid is a simpler structure it is just an acid ch3cooh so this acetic acid gives rise to cholesterol which has comparatively a quite complex structure so this is an example of anabolic pathway whereas the conversion of glucose to form lactic acid this is an example of a catabolic pathway that is a complex structure is broken down into simpler structures now this anabolic pathway is also known as biosynthetic pathways because synthesis happens here synthesis means uh formation so here formation takes place so that is why it is biosynthetic pathway whereas catabolic pathways are known as degradation because here the larger molecule is getting degraded so it is getting disintegrated or it is getting destructed so that is why it is called degradation pathway so this is about the metabolic pathways when we talk about anabolic pathways now since they form something so they need some energy so they consume energy whereas in catabolic pathways since it breaks down so it releases a lot of energy so in order to form anything you need energy let us suppose if you uh, just take a, a common example from your day to day life if you want to become something if you want to score well in your exam that means you want to form something you want to make something you may want to make a good result so what do you need you need to consume energy that means you need to take energy you have to be more energetic and you have to work hard to get it because you want to make something you want to form something whereas if you want to do really bad in your exams you don't want to score well what do you need to do you don't really need to do anything you can just chill out you just go to your examination or don't write any answers and you'll not score anything so when you want to form something you need to consume some energy you need to provide some energy whereas when you want to break down something you don't need energy you instead you will release energy so whenever something is getting broken down so some energy will be released so that is how anabolic pathways are different from catabolic pathways thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again